find the land we love. Threatened once more by Roma's far-reaching grasp. No, no, no. If you please, Rome. We say Rome, not Roma. Si, si, Rome, not Roma. It's very hard for me. Rome, Rome. Once again then, senor, sad to return. This way, ladies, this way. Rehearsals, as you see, are underway for the new production of Shamo's Hannibal. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you may already have met Madame Andre and Madame Sherman. Monsieur Lefebvre, we are rehearsing. If you wouldn't mind waiting a moment. My apologies, Monsieur Rare. Proceed, proceed. Sad to return, then. Monsieur Rare, our chief repetiteur. Rather a tyrant, I'm afraid. Threatened once more by Rome's far-reaching grasp. Tomorrow we shall break the chains of Rome. Tonight rejoice, your army has come home. Signor Piaggi, our principal tenor, he does play so well opposite Lord Carlotta. Side. My apologies, Madame Jury. Madame Jury, our ballet mistress. I don't mind confessing, Madame Fuhrman. I shan't be sorry to be rid of the whole blessed business. I keep asking you, Monsieur, why exactly are you retiring? We took particular pride in the excellence of our ballet. Who's that girl in the bed? Her? Meg Jury, Madame Jury's daughter. Promising dancer, most promising. You, Christine Daye, concentrate, girl. Daye, curious name. Swedish. Any relation to the violinist? His daughter, I believe. Always has her head in the clouds, I'm afraid. Gentlemen, Madam Jury, thank you. <clears throat> May I have your attention, please? For many weeks, there have been rumors of my imminent retirement. I can now tell you that they were all true. And it is my pleasure to introduce you to the two ladies who now own the Upper Populaire, Madam Rebecca Fierman and Madam Genevieve Andre. <clears throat> ladies, Signora Carlotta Gudiacelli, our leading soprano for five seasons now. I have experienced all your greatest roles, Senor. And Senor Ubaldo Piangi. It's an honor, Senor. Piacere. If I remember rightly, Elisa has a rather fine aria in Act Three of Hannibal. I wonder, Senor, if, as a personal favor, you would oblige us with a private rendition. Unless, of course, Monsieur Rayer objects. My manager commands that. Monsieur Rayer. My diva commands. Will two bars be sufficient introduction? Two bars will be quite sufficient. Signora. Maestro. <laughs>
please. Senora, are you all right? Bouquet! Where is Bouquet? He's no one concerned for our prima donna. Bouquet, chief of the flies. He's responsible for this. Bouquet! Get that man down here! For God's sakes, man, what's going on up there? Please, monsieur, don't look at me. As God's my witness, I was not at my post. Please, monsieur, there's no one there, and if there is, well, then it must be a ghost. Good heavens, I have never known such insolence. Senor, please. These things do happen. These things do happen? You have been here five minutes. What do you know? <sighs> Say, these things do happen all the time for the past three years. These things do happen. And then you stop these things from happening. No! And you, you're as bad as him. These things do happen. <laughs> well, until you from happening, these are thing does not happen. Ubaldo, Ariamo, amateurs. Well, ladies, I don't think there's much more I can do to assist you. Good luck, and if you need me, I shall be in Frankfurt. <laughs> God in heaven, you're all obsessed. He merely welcomes you to his opera house, commands that you continue to leave box five empty for his use, and reminds you that his salary is due. His salary? Monsieur Lefebvre paid him 20,000 francs a month. Perhaps with the Vicomte as your patron, you could afford more? Madame, I had rather have hoped to have made that announcement myself. Will the Vicomte be at the performance this evening, Madame? Madame, who is the understudy for the role? There is no understudy. The production is new. The chorus girl. She's been taking lessons from a great teacher. From whom? I don't know, madame. Can you believe it? A full house and we'll have to cancel. Let her sing for you, madame. She has been well taught. Very well. On top of the aria, mademoiselle. Gentlemen, 